What's up, YouTube? This is Nightdragon669. Give a shout out to Mango Sirene. You know, watching your video made me think. We need to step up as fans. All those at New York Comic Con, you voiced your opinion to DC. Now it's time for us at home who could not make it to voice our own. As you can see right now, I'm wearing a Justice League t shirt. As I do not have my Superboy cosplay in at the moment, I'll be doing it like this. I want everyone out there, I want everyone, fans, DC Nation fans, Marvel fans, it's time to give a superhero channel of our own. Talk to DC, talk to Marvel. I mean, they got movies they can run, they got old classic shows they can run, I'm sure a few old... Um, old, old actors, Adam West, I think he would be supported on this. I don't know. But, I mean, DC Nation and Marvel both need to get their act together. This is just not DC when their whole Cartoon Network pulling their hour block yesterday. I mean, I granted, I could see if they, they pulled it and gave an announcement saying, hey, right now, we're pulling DC Nation for Comic-Con, you know? Saying, hey, we'll be back after Comic-Con or something, but not January. That's like, what, November, December, three months away, literally, almost? I mean, they give us two episodes, a cliffhanger, and that's it. Same for Young, same for Green Lantern. It's gotten to the point where... It's like, oh, you don't do this to us, DC Nation. If... Somehow we lose Young Justice at this point, at this crucial moment, because not only did you bring Arsenal back, uh, Roy back into the picture, like brought him awake and everything, I mean, you still gotta go with Artemis, you got the whole thing going with Artemis, you got character development so far in development right now, that I'm not joking, if you were to end this, I would strongly, strongly consider this to be a three hour movie where you have prolong which is in that five year gap covering the basis from the five year gap up to the beginning of the movie you know with the whole light and everything like that with where that's the prologue now the main movie is where we show everything coming together all the pieces all the lives Showing that Artemis, hey, she's still alive. Um, you know, all that. It's, lately, it feels like you're giving us more filler than anything. But, like, seriously, though. Get DC Nation, W Warner Brothers Studios. You gotta fight this. You're in control. You're the one supplying the shows to Cartoon Network. I mean, look what they did with Teen Titans. You just dropped it out there after the whole Titans unite, you know, all the Titans come together. You could have done so much more with that. Then you made Titans in Tokyo, Trouble in Tokyo. <laughs> that was a joke, honestly speaking. I mean, this is more turned into a DC Nation protest slash superhero rant. This also is dedicated to you, Marvel. Now, I've looked back. Here's where I draw the line. Marvel, great live action movies, you know. Though they could have done better with Thor. Honestly, that was my opinion, but still. DC Nation, DC Comics, you have Batman, that's good. That's really good, actually. That's good. You did really good there. Uh, Superman movies, they got the classic feel for the old school. But, you know. That's how it is there. Um, but you do so good in your animated movies. That's where you come together. I mean, you have literally like what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I literally own nine plus movies of DC Nation not including series I mean you got Greenlander Batman Batman Beyond 
You did such good work with those, yet you just, like, just somehow they stopped coming. And this is why. What happened? You just stopped airing it, or the, they decided to drop it. If something decides to drop, you know we should approach it as this. Say, hey, if you're going to drop us, then give us some time to work out the finale. Don't just stop. That's what it felt like with this DC Nation whole debacle with DC Nation. Like, what's going on? Why am I watching How to Train Your Dragon? I mean, you just put that in there for no apparent reason. It confuses and makes us mad. I mean, you, you inter like, that's what's happening lately. Are you guys running slow on story ideas? And if you are, you know what you should do? Go back, run them again, but this time include pop-ups. Include cliff notes for, like, say, here, this is, we're here, or, like, voice actor info... Stuff like that. Give us little information to keep us entertained. Um, you know, bring in some other things. But, you know, DC Nation, that whole DC Nation block, that's only an hour-long thing. If you truly wanted it to be a DC Nation thing, you should be running, like, the new things. And then some old stuff, like Batman, Superman the Animated Series, Batman the Animated Series, um... Teen Titans again, it's decent. I mean, it's if it's on, I'll watch it. I don't go out of my way to watch it. I mean, if it's there, I'll watch it if I need some in the background. But still, I mean, come, you gotta do better than this, DC. You're you're better than this. I mean, you make such great, great comics that it should show in your dedication to fans. I mean, with the Fifty Two reboot, yeah, we all approached that like. Really? Some of us, some other people approach it with, oh, right, this is a fresh start. We're going to do from there. But, like, again, as Mango Sirene, Mango Sirene, or I can't pronounce your name, I'm sorry. Honestly, if I butcher your name, it's not my fault, not my attention. But and she pointed out, she makes great references. Like, oh, we thought it was Comic Con, that it was New York Comic Con, or there was a scheduling issue. But for them to pull it until January, are we going to get like four new episodes at once? Or maybe two at least? Do two Green Lantern, two Young Justice to make up for this? Because I mean, I was actually looking forward to Green Lantern. Steampunk? That's amazing. Steampunk's a really good thing in my book. I love steampunk. I mean, it's very cool, it has the designs, and for that to be included in a Green Lantern episode blew my mind. But when I go to watch it, fucking How to Train Your Dragons. That's not the right way to do it, DC Nation. You gotta put your foot down this time. You, as a company, need to say, hey, that was not cool. You shouldn't have done that. You should have run the episodes we've given you, because if you have the episodes done, and they're not running them, that's where you go in and say, hey, why aren't you running them? Give them a reason to make them run them. Put your foot down, people. Stand up and fight this. We need all the support we can get. Now, that's the DC Nation side of this. This is what I want to say about DC Nation. Now, this goes towards you, Marvel. Yes, I'm bringing you into this one, too, Marvel. I mean, you do very... You do pretty good work. I mean, I'm... Great. I mean... Spider Man, the Spider Man, the new one, the one that comes out every Saturday, Sunday morning. You know, the one Drake Bell. It's not bad. I get a kick out of that whole stop, look at the camera, talk thing. I like that. That's very interesting. And it's very funny to me. Avengers, Earth Mightiest Hero. Now that is a good show. Right there, you got some work done. But as I was saying about DC Nation, DC Comics. Both of you need to sit down and say, hey, we have our differences, we have our groups, but we should really work towards the fans. Get your own channel. Call it the comic channel. Where, like, you can, like, run shows about comics or, you know, or talk to G4 even. There you go, G4. You know, I mean, granted, people probably don't have G4. I can see why DC put it on Cartoon Network. 
But, I mean, seriously, though, you guys need to get a channel out there, like, I think fans would support it. Like, they would purchase stuff. Like, you can sell comics through them. You can do video sales through them at night. Um, you can run live-action movies. You can get all this in there. If it's there, if you make it, the fans will come. The fans will give you, say, hey, some of us don't like this, and a lot of us like this. You know, it comes down to the point where you have to step up and take this to the fans. The fans are where you get your income from. The fans are where they spread the word and say, Hey, you know, you should check this out. It's really good. It's really well done. Now, I mean, I don't know what else to say. I mean, I'm just stating the fact that, like, you have iconic heroes. You have... It comes back to this last step. Okay, I'm bringing this up. I mean, I haven't done a review in a while, granted. So, I'm sitting down, I'm watching, I'm noticing things else, I'm seeing little things I should have seen before. Little glances here and there, little notices here. It It's coming to the point where I'm picking things up that you guys threw in there, and I will comment on this. But I'm going to do this now, this is a little, I'm going to mark this down, but in the last episode of Young Justice, you got Roy back. You brought back Roy, the first Roy Harper, Roy Harper, the first, the one with the missing arm. You brought him in and as Arsenal, which I thought was a great twist because if I remember correctly, the clone Roy was supposed to be Arsenal, and because like, yeah. So I mean, yeah. Then another question: Does anyone else think that? Artemis' mom knows about Jade's child, Rice's child. Just, just a quick question out there. But back to the main point. You, you guys have the resources. You have the power to do this. Say, hey, get your own channel. You know, get your own TV channel. Or, you know, set up a YouTube channel together where people can watch your shows online. Like Funimation. Take a page out of Funimation's book and throw your stuff on TV, on the YouTube, you know, throw it out there and say, hey, we have this here, we have this for you, we are for the fans, and just, if you do that, people will love you, people will watch your stuff, you will get great reviews, but you just hurt yourself with yesterday's debacle, but, I mean, it comes down to this, either you step up, or it, the fans will step out. That's what it comes down to.